So we're back at it again. This time, the good people at JM4 want me to talk about not a holster, but some coffee? Let's see what this is about. Coffee? What's up good people? This is Michael Whitland of M-W Tactical, also a sponsored shooter with JM4 Tactical. And they wanted me to reach out to everyone and talk about them getting into the coffee business. Yes, the coffee business. Now, as I already stated beforehand, you know JM4 Tactical actually sponsors me in shooting. So I shoot with their holster on. You see my shooting shirt with JM4 Tactical on it. But why would a holster company get into the realm of coffee. Hmm. Now, what you're gonna have to do is go find the M-W Tactical podcast and we're gonna talk with the owner of Jam4 Tactical and find out why this is. So if you will, head on over to jam4tactical.com forward slash coffee and right there on the website, as soon as you pull it up, you will see an email sign up, whereas when you do sign up for the email newsletter, you will get 10% off on your order. So right now, as you can see, the coffee is $14.99. Take 10% off of that order by doing that email sign up right now. So after signing up for the email, you will see the different brands of coffee that they have. So out of the four brands of coffee that they have, they actually sent me the vanilla. Now, of course, when you click on the brand you decide to choose, so I'm gonna click on vanilla, now you see more options. More options being that you can get it in the texture being grounded or whole bean. So <laughs> they even make it whereas you have a selection within a selection. So that's great amongst the part of how you wanna receive your coffee. Now, of course, if we back out of this and you actually see, now if you have a Keurig and you don't have a coffee maker, they have that covered also. So you can go ahead and get this little K cup that's right here and actually go ahead and still enjoy the taste of the JM4 Tactical Coffee. What I actually ended up doing, since I don't drink coffee and the last time I had a cup of coffee, I was eight years old. I decided to bring a few friends over and get their take on this coffee. Yes, so I had a few friends come over and decide to hear what they had to say about the JM4 coffee. So let's dive into it and let's hear the initial thoughts of what a few of my friends said about this coffee. I'm gonna go with the black one first, um, okay. simply because that's it's this is JM's, uh, it's their product in its purest form. So I'm gonna try it with just the black. And I have to say it has a great taste, great smell to it. I like the smell. It's, uh, this is the vanilla bean, so. So this is straight raw, first time testing it, and honest assessment. It's smooth. Um, the straight black with nothing in it? The straight black with nothing in it, it's, it's pretty smooth. Okay. It's not bitter, a lot of, Black coffees will come out really bitter, um, or they taste burnt. burnt. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the um, straight black. Take a sip. Very good. Nice bold flavor. Hint of the vanilla underneath. Like it very much. Yeah, that's a pretty good cup of coffee. What you're saying is you don't have to put nothing in it. I'd be all right with drinking this straight the way that it is, yeah. Flavor, no. Mm. It's already got the flavor from the vanilla bean in it. Right. Um, that's actually more of a, a, of a an aroma to it. Um, you don't really taste a vanilla taste to it. When I want to have a vanilla taste to my coffee, I'll add vanilla extract to it. But for the most part, it's it has a really good aroma and it's really, um, it's really smooth. 
Now, since I don't drink coffee, I still have my thoughts of this coffee. One thing I can say is, since I was making this coffee in my living area, the aroma smells good. I don't even like the smell of coffee, but the aroma from this brand of coffee, it really smelled delightful. Now, of course, I didn't taste it, but once again, my friends, they all tasted it. So my thoughts on it is when I first opened it up and looked at it, the fine powder, it was grounded down to a fine powder. I was like, okay, good. Smelled good. Didn't turn me off. That's a plus because the brands that's at the supermarket right now, those turn me off. When I go to people's houses or I go into a convenience store and I smell the coffee being made, I throw on the gas face and it just turns me off but this coffee actually smelled good. So let's hear what these friends of mine, their thoughts on the coffee. I like this coffee because the flavor balances out when I've added sugar and cream. And also I tried it black and even drinking the coffee black, it's not as strong as some of the other brands that I've t tasted before. Second, just added some cream. Much better, full bodied. I prefer cream with my coffee. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna double fist them here. Like I say, it's because it's so smooth that I'd probably have more than one cup of this a day in the morning. Yeah. Nice. I wasn't expecting, and to be honest with you, I was not expecting this to be as good as it is <laughs> because I've had a lot of the the coffees that are made by other uh, like gun companies or so let's go ahead here in conclusion what everybody thinks about it overall some have a rating system some have just their final smile or disagreement so let's hear what they have to say about this so I like to do this one or two thumbs up Ooh, definitely two there we got it right without here. a doubt yeah this is good this is yeah <laughs> it's good stuff. So this is the first person, right? Two thumbs up, and that's overall, right? Mm -hmm. So how do you give taste? One or two thumbs up? Uh, taste, um, I would I would say I give one thumb. Okay. Um, the reason being the first uh, with the with the black, mm -hmm. it wasn't it wasn't bold. Again, it, it was good. I mean, I could taste it, but it wasn't like punch you in the mouth bold. Okay. And after it was doctor. Um, that. Pretty much the same, um, but again, that's with a lighter roast. So um, maybe if I don't know, maybe we just cooked it with too much water. Maybe we uh, we we roasted it a little bit too too thin. If that makes sense. Okay. But I'd, I'd still give it one at least one thumb up for that. Maybe one and a half. One and a half thumb. There you go. Well, we we'll go with that. Yeah. We'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> and presentation. Um, two thumbs up. Uh, there's not really sure w why I take away from presentation. It, it smells great. Yes. Um, it tastes good, um, both black as well as doctor. So that's it right there. Yeah. So I'm with it. Um, everyday coffee. I would give this a uh, eight, based on the um, drinking it black alone. And to me, that's higher rank than the other brands. Like I said before. You know, uh, black coffee you know, has to be really good um, to drink it black, and this is actually very good and flavorful that I would drink it black. Um, again, but I am a cream person, so I'll be finishing this cup. Yeah, very good, very good. So there you have it, Jam 4 Coffee. Now, of course, how else are you gonna start your day? But Jam 4 Tactical actually says, with the holsters, changing the way you carry. But with this coffee, they actually say, changing the way you start your day. Pretty interesting. All right, so if you happen to go out and try the bag of the Jam 4 coffee, get in touch with me and let me know so I can talk about the different blends. Actually, what I might just do is get the different blends and go out 
and have some more friends come over and try the different blends and get different reactions off of those as well. Hmm, there's an idea. But head on over to jm4tactical.com forward slash coffee. Look at the four blends that they have right now and get a bag or two. Tell me what you think. Until next time, keep shooting, keep practicing, and have fun. Or should I change that to keep drinking coffee, having fun, eh, however you want to do it. Y'all take care. Go grab a bag of JM4 coffee. Have a great day.